we are going to use pythagoras theorem to find out the position of root 3 on the number line the number under the root is 3 so we have to find out two numbers sum of whose squares will give us 3 or any number less than 3 so if i take 1 and 1 then 1 square plus 1 square is equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2 which is equal to root 2 square so what we are going to do next we are going to take 1 square with root 2 square and let's see what happens on solving this we get 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and 3 is root 3 square so there are two steps of calculation it shows that we have to first repeat all the steps of root 2 and then further we will do some construction to get root 3 i have now got a right triangle whose two perpendicular sides are 1 and 1 the hypotenuse will be obviously root 2 so if i draw a right triangle with sides 1 and 1 I will get the length of the hypotenuse exactly equal to root 2. So let us see how we will draw it on the number line. For that first we need to draw a number line using a scale. We will be marking equal distance on the number line. You may take 2 centimeters, 1 centimeter. I have taken here 1 inch distance to mark the points. So our number line is now ready. Now I'll write numbers on it so we can start with 0 on one end depending on the sign of the number if it is a positive integer we are going to represent only the positive part of our number line so 0 here then 1 2 3 etc okay we chose the numbers 1 and 1 so I am going to represent one of them on the number line that means from origin I'm going to draw a line so this is one unit now at point A we will draw a perpendicular this perpendicular you can draw using your compass or your protector so we are going to keep our protector here at point A and align it with the line this ray of 90 degree angle should be longer than the second side that is one unit the other number which we chose was one again so we are going to take one unit as the radius on a compass and we will take a point as the center and cut an arc on this ray let us name this point as c next the point o will be joined to the point c using a scale and a pencil now as we took one as one side of this triangle one as the other side of this triangle according to the pythagoras theorem the third side of the triangle must be root 2 thus we get oc is equal to root 2 now this distance we have to take on the number line so with the help of my compass i am going to measure this distance oc now using center o and this radius i will draw an arc downwards to intersect the number line at point b so oc and ob are of length root 2 our representation of root 2 is ready next we have to draw another right triangle whose sides should be 1 and root 2 as per this calculation the hypotenuse od will be equal to root 3 as the hypotenuse of the first triangle is root 2 ob is also root 2 so root 2 is represented by ob on the number line now we have to draw another perpendicular line the length of this perpendicular should again be longer than the second side that is one when i say one i'm talking about one unit which i have taken here as one inch now we have to take one unit or the other number as the radius on our compass with this radius and center at point b we are going to draw an arc intersecting the perpendicular at some point let's name this point as d these steps which we are following here are like the steps done for root 2 so next we are going to join this point o to d the hypotenuse od will be equal to root 3 
Next, in order to represent root 3 on the number line, we will take OD as the radius, O as center and draw an arc so that it intersects the number line. Let's name the point of intersection as E. So, OE is equal to root 3. I hope this method is clear to you and you can apply it to any number. I hope you enjoy representing the irrational numbers on the number line. If you like my videos and want more informative videos of this kind, then please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. Take care and goodbye.